So welcome to another one of my percentage word problems on sales tax. Here in this problem it says the sales tax rate in the state of Florida is 6%. If an item costs $15 before sales tax, how much would you pay for that item after taxes? And anytime you're doing a sales tax word problem, you always can use a simple equation. And I think most of you can figure out this equation on your own. And the equation is the original price plus the tax is equal to the final price. And this is pretty self-explanatory. If you have an original price of $20 and there is a $2 tax on that item, then you add the $2 to the original price of $20 and you have a final price of $22. However, before we continue with this problem, I want you to notice that the tax is not given to us in an exact dollar amount. Notice in the first line of this word problem it says the sales tax rate in the state of Florida is 6%. Instead of giving it to us in an exact dollar amount, they give us the sales tax in terms of percentage. So what we want to do is rewrite the tax in terms of percentage instead of an exact dollar amount. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to rewrite the tax in terms of percentage. So the tax is equal to the percentage rate multiplied by the original price. So now we have rewrote the sales tax as the percentage rate multiplied by the original price. And we still need to add the original price with the sales tax. And this is still all equal to the final price. So now we can go back to our word problem and plug everything in. Notice in our first line of the word problem, it says the sales tax rate is 6%. So in our equation, we can plug in 6% for our percentage rate. And if we move on to the second line of the word problem, it says an item costs $15 before sales tax. So before sales tax means the original price. So the original price of the item is $15. And we can't forget that the original price is also being multiplied by the 6%. So I'll multiply 6% by $15. And now if we move on to the last line of the word problem, it says, how much would you pay for the item after taxes? So the price after taxes would be our final price. And we don't know what it is because it's asking us how much. So since we don't know what it is at the moment, that's what we need to find out. We can call the final price anything we want, so we'll just call it x. So now we have rewrote this word problem as an equation, and now we just need to solve for our final price, which is x. So now I'm just going to scroll down a little bit, just to give myself a little bit more space. So now I'm going to rewrite this equation, just so it looks a little bit more clean. We have our original price, 15, plus our percentage rate of 6% multiplied by 15 is equal to our final price x. And anytime you're solving an equation with a percent, you should change it into a decimal. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to change the 6% into a decimal. And anytime you change from a percent to a decimal, you need to move the decimal point two units to the left. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the decimal point, move it two units to the left. So a 6% written as a decimal is 0 0.06. And this is still being multiplied by 15 is equal to x. So now we can simplify this equation even further. We can multiply 0 0.06 times 15. So I'm going to plug that into my calculator. 0 0.06 times 15 is 0 0.90. And the reason why I wrote 0 0.90 instead of 0.9 is because when you're dealing with dollars and cents, you should always round to two decimal places. 
and this is all still equal to x. So now I'm just going to scroll down a little further just to give myself a little bit more space. So now in order to solve for x, the only thing we need to do is just add 15 with 0 0.90. So that's what I'm going to do right now. 15 plus 0 0.90 is just 15.90. And this is equal to our final answer, x. So going back to our original problem, we had a original price of $15. We had a sales tax of 6% which came out to 90 cents and $15 plus 90 cents gives us our final price of $15 and 90 cents. So here are some more videos with more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you are finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.